In this video, I want to explain why a likelihood is not a valid probability distribution. And this is why we call certain types of distribution likelihoods rather than probability distributions. So to explain this, I'm going to use an example, which is going to be pretty simple. It's just flipping a coin. And we flip the coin and we record whether that coin shows a tails, and in which case we set a random variable x equal to zero, if that occurs, or one if we flip the coin and it lands heads up. We're going to suppose that the probability that the coin lands heads up is just equal to some parameter, which I'm going to call theta. We can use this kind of simple setup to write down the probability of obtaining each of the possible outcomes. So the probability that we obtain a tails given a probability of a heads theta is simply equal to 1 minus theta. It's 1 minus theta because the probability that x equals 1 given our probability of a head theta, in other words we're just sort of restating what we, we set up here, is equal to theta. And when we sum these two things together we obtain 1 and hence we do have a valid probability distribution. What we can do is we can take both of these rules and combine them into a single rule which tells us the probability that our random variable x is equal to some specific value k where k can be 0 or 1 depending on whether the coin is heads or tails given theta is just equal to theta to the power k times 1 minus theta to the power 1 minus k. And so you can see that if k is equal to 1, in other words we have a head, this second bracket disappears and I'm just left with theta, which is what we obtained down here. Alternatively, if k is equal to 1, the first part of this expression disappears and we're just left with 1 minus theta to the power 1. In other words, we return back our probability of obtaining a tails. So now we're going to consider two different circumstances. Firstly, we're going to suppose that we know before we flip the coin, that theta is equal to 3 quarters. So now, can we draw our probability distribution for the possible outcomes of flipping the coin? So here there are two possible outcomes for x. There is the case where x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1. And we're going to draw now the probability that x equals that particular outcome k given theta is equal to 3 quarters, given that the probability of throwing a head is equal to 3 quarters. We can do that fairly simply. We see that the probability of throwing a tails is just 1 minus 3 quarters, so that's just a quarter here, and then that the probability of throwing a head is somewhere like up here, where that is equal to 3 quarters. So we can see that here we have a discrete probability distribution. And we know it's a probability distribution because if I sum together the two values of our probability distribution, then I get a quarter plus three quarters, which is just equal to one. So because our probabilities are non-negative and because they sum to one, we have a valid probability distribution. Instead, let's suppose that we flip the coin and we obtain a heads. In other words, we obtain x is equal to one then if x is equal to 1, we can sort of write down our rule. Our probability that x is equal to 1 is just equal to theta. Supposing this, we can then draw what this probability looks like as a function of theta. And so on the y-axis here, we have the probability that x equals 1 given theta. And then on the x-axis, we just have theta here, or the horizontal axis, I should rather say we have theta to avoid confusion with the random variable x. And we're going to draw this between theta is 0 and theta is 1. And we obtain a straight line, or it should be straight, which looks something like that. And so the height here on the y-axis when theta is 1 is 1. And so we get a curve that looks something like this. And we note that this is a continuous curve. So it looks like it could be a continuous probability distribution, but it's not. Why isn't it? Well, the idea is that if we were to work out the area under this curve, 
Then, well, we get half times the base, which is 1, times the height, which is 1. In other words, we get that the area is equal to a half. So, importantly, in this second case, we don't have a valid probability distribution because our integral of our object over all possible values of the thing which we're varying does not equal 1. Because what we're dealing with in this second case where we hold the data constant, our data here is the fact that we obtained one head, and we vary the parameter theta, we term this second type of distribution a likelihood. And in Bayesian statistics, we vary the parameter and hold the data fixed. This goes into the numerator of Bayes' rule. And because of that, the objects that we're dealing with are actually likelihoods. One way of viewing Bayesian statistics is the conversion process, which allows us to convert a likelihood, which is not a valid probability distribution, and hence cannot be used easily to describe uncertainty, to something which does describe uncertainty, in other words, a probability distribution. Because what we're dealing with is not a valid probability distribution, we tend to rewrite this expression here as the likelihood for a particular value of theta, in other words, the thing that we're varying, given our data, in this case, that x is equal to 1. So, to summarise, we can see sort of two different cases here. The first one was where we sort of assume that we knew the probability of the coin landing heads up. In other words, we held a theta constant here, in other words, the parameter, and we varied the data. So here we varied x. We looked at the two possible x's that could have resulted from throwing the coin. That's what we mean by varying x here. And when we did this, we saw that we got a valid probability distribution. So that's in this left-hand case here, just for clarity. Whereas in the second case, where we held the data constant and we varied the parameter, then what we got was not a valid probability distribution. And because it wasn't a valid probability distribution, we called these types of distributions likelihoods to avoid any ambiguity.